So this SBA 545 build has been floating around my channel here for a little bit and I've never actually posted a full gameplay on it. I featured it in my settings video at the beginning of season four. I've also posted it in my top five weapons video, but I've never actually posted a video solely dedicated to this. By far my best one I've ever built. We got virtually no recoil, very good aim down sight speed and very good for aggressive play. But due to the no recoil, it's also good a long range play. I got asked a lot about this setup and it's a finally time I cover this thing. Starting with our first attachment, I have the Jack Glasses optic. I've tried a lot of different optics on this thing. The Jack Glass like, did end up being my favorite. So at the end of the day, you guys can do the same thing. Try out different optics and see which one you guys like the most. For a stock, you are going to want the main V6 for recoil and gun kick. It is gonna hit your sprint to fire and sprint speed a little bit, but it is 100% necessary. You can see that massive 21% of the gun kick along with 8% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control. This is a large contributor into why this weapon has little to no recoil. For the rear grip, you're gonna want the demo 650 grip, the same reason we did choose that main V6 stock, but this is gonna be on a much smaller scale. We're getting 10% there to the gun kick along with 7% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control. But at the end of the day, all of these recoil attachments add up to what it is at the end. For my under barrel, I have the DR6 hand stop to increase our ADS aim walking, sprint to fire and movement. And that's why it's so fast paced at the end of the day. We did, like I said, sacrifice some sprint to fire speed, but we're gonna be making up for all of that with this particular attachment. So I'm gonna hide my camera here so you guys can see what we're gaining. The mobility factors are pretty small. We're getting movement, crouch movement, and ADS movement, but we are getting 8% to both aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. And my final attachment is a Zem compensated flash hider for even more vertical and horizontal recoil control along with fire aiming stability. With all of these attachments, you got virtually no shake and no recoil control. So we got 5% there to the horizontal and 15% to the vertical recoil control. It's been a long time coming with this thing and I think I've finally perfected it. This is why you guys are seeing a full length video on it now. And personally, my favorite assault rifle in the game right now, I don't see many people use the SVA, which is kind of weird. I actually put it above weapons like the MCW or the Holger 556, weapons that are considered to be more popular. I do think this actually outguns those. And as always, here's my entire loadout on the screen. You guys can feel free to copy that down if you guys want to. Let's jump into a gameplay to feature my number one SVA 545. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. I was just talking about how I haven't really gotten Tokyo and I've gotten it twice in the same day. Granted, I don't know when these videos are gonna go up. You know what I mean? Like, they're probably not going to go up the day after each other just due to the ver I, I like to mix it up, but I was talking about how I don't really get the map. And then here we are getting it a couple times a day. I vibe with that because this map is very, very good. I'm going to take a different approach here because they're all hitting that building. So if I hit a UAV and hit a flank, shoot him in the butt be pretty vibey, right? As I was saying, now I'm not going to go that way again. I am going to hit this way and go on an even deeper flank. Don't regret not finishing the job. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Confirming next hard point. Stand by. Enemies inside the perimeter. I'm gonna probably hit this advanced UAV right away. Yep, that was a good move. And now we got a UAV. I'm gonna hit this VTOL. They're really pushing me heavy. Target area marked. You're clear hot. Copy that, Phoenix. The enemy's taking the lead. There we go. Oh, I'm frying. I'm gonna go up in this window here. There is a guy up here. Hot one down. Hard point relocating. Semtex out. Changing map. I saw a guy up there. Don't think he's still there though. I'm gonna go in my UAV. Okay, should be safe for now. Probably go through the middle of the map to rotate. Hostile counter UAV 
Oh, that's nope. That's not a thing. We're not keeping that up. That's for dang sure. Not feeling very comfortable in this situation. No, definitely not. I did see that sniper too. And there's our advanced. And DNA bomb. I could go double SVA 545s if I really wanted to. Because there's another guy running one. Another advanced UAV is ready. Let's get that in the air. was a spree that's what i would like to call that absolute spree thanks for coming teammate should clean that guy you're gonna let him run by i was gonna say dang I'm going to pick this up. Okay. Oh. That's just bad timing. I go to call in the VTOL and homie is just there. What can you do? This guy up top. Nope. I'm up in their spawn here. Point relocating. I think. Because uh, based on where my team is, I don't think they'd be here. I could be wrong on that. I guess I was. They should come right here. Uh, either that or up top. Maybe up top. Loading. Hmm. Well, there's a guy in the arcade for sure. I just saw that sniper scope. Oh, he's dead because there was a proximity mine there that I saw. Give me this. Thank you. There was a guy up there. was a jump scare holy bananas i didn't had i had no intel that he was there and he scared the crap out of me all 
Okay, this is insane. Every advantage right there. I shot first and then stopped shooting. Now I have two SVA 545s. Bet. Oh, not bet. Jesus Christ. I keep running into the firing squad, bro. I just died right here, right? Like I said, I'm running into the firing squad. I do not like this guy's setup. Heck no. Oh, I didn't even realize it was the end of the game. 68 kills. I was ready to go on for another 10 minutes. GG's.